Okay. We got Trunko out here with Krin. Now, Trunko, one hell of a Pikachu. Already out here on losing semis. I, th I think they, they did like pretty dang nice um in the last encore. The oh, wait, huh? Alright, alright. Gotcha. Alright, looks like Richard's gonna be joining me yet again of some commentary. Dang, I think let me, let me just run away just like that. Oh, what up? Krin turned that 107, made that 115. Hold up, kind of get, get around some Pikachu. Um, hey, what's up? All right, Virgil's back here with us. Okay. Yeah, again. Oop. All right, now we we out here on, on game on. Ooh, the nice little drag down there to the down smash. All right, Trunko ch ch with a solid lead. Now, um, Trunko, uh, as as I kind of like said so forth, or uh, as I pr pretty much may have mentioned uh, before, like yo, pr pretty dang uh, uh, nice and solid Pikachu. Like yo, in the last encore that, that they were in, like yo, they they did uh, pretty dang well. Yep, and the last Westchester representative here in bracket, mm -hmm. as uh, as the Westchester crew tries to maintain their own Arcadian, that could have been a jab lock, but it's Trango not opting for it. Instead, just trying to find some shield pressure here, rack up some damage, it's, and so far has done a great job just not giving Crit any opportunities, using these T jolts like, very effectively to kind of lock Crit out of the. At, Falling aerial space that he really wants, right? Those empty short hops are so Ooh, strong, but nice great job. catch there from Krin, finding that limit cross slash and taking the stock. Yeah, although Pikachu does have a great recovery, they're still gonna have to be real careful with things such as like cloud up B and even and even things uh, such as side B and perhaps even neutral B uh, from cloud, especially if um, well, mostly if cloud has limit right here. But as you were saying with, with those uh, T jokes and stuff, that may especially be. Uh, be useful right here in this matchup because, like, with with like those, those uh, big aerials that uh, Cloud has, especially with his forty and his back end, and and how hard they, they may be to punish too. Like, yo, uh, Trekko might have a bit of a hard time to get in on Crane without the Tejals. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's a saying Pika players like to say that you know the only reason we beat Sorties is because of Tejal, and you're seeing why so far early in the set, right? Trenko's just using it to control space. It's like, yeah, it confirms him to grab, but it's less important if it hits as much as it just doesn't let Krin kind of establish what? that zone and he doesn't have oh, limit. They got both SD. Well, yeah, Krin kind of, you know, got pressured into the last one, but unforced error from Trenko gonna keep this one even. Oh, and this is the DI in. That could have been a up air, up air into a thunder, but instead Trenko just gonna opt for some raw damage. And Krin was giving him that game right there. The up air bridge, though, that could be it. No, has no, no, limit. No, no. Oh, but that's no, another he back ha he, has, he has limit. He no, did no, not no, no, charge no. it. Quinn could have got back there still. Hmm. He could have. He could have charged limit, and he would have been able to make that one back. I'm telling you. Because hmm. from that distance, he had three quarters limit. He would have been able to charge it. He would have been able to just barely get back. Yeah, Pikachu can still edge guard you, but at least you're giving it another opportunity. That being said, Quinn opting instead. Let's just go to game number two. Game number two? That was game number one, right? Yeah, so, that, that was game one. And I'm really interested to see where we go counter pick wise. I wouldn't be surprised. I would I would be shocked to see either FD or Kalos in this yeah, set. Yeah, I, I would I would be especially surprised to, to see FD. Town um, is an interesting like, one. Huh. Hmm. So this high top blast zone. So like it turns huh. into FD, which is really good for Pika. But when the platforms are out. When there's that center plot, it's actually really bad for Pika because it screws up his combo game. However, you, you, you do also have those, yep. those platforms like near the, near yep. the blast when zone you, too. When you don't have and that center center plot, it's really good for Pika because you have all the room in the world to do your nair loops, oops, to do your up air bridges unimpeded by platform, and those smaller side blast zones gonna help yeah. both these characters kill early, but gonna limit both their up smash confirms that both these characters again also like to go for. So. Interesting counter effect from Kren, but yeah. it might also just be a personal I, comfort thing. Yeah, me, yeah. I I, I kind of feel like perhaps uh, oh, no. Smashville may, maybe would have been better, but um, um es especially since like uh the, the back air chains uh kind of messed up Kren. Yeah, but we also um, remember we don't know what the bands are, right? It's entirely possible that Smashville is one of the band stages, perhaps. and also that you know as well, right? Like Trenko has has done such a good job, right? 
I scrapping up close that maybe Kryn just wants a little bit more space to reset. I do agree with you though. I'm a little confused by giving this larger on stage presence to yeah. Pikachu. And I don't here. think you want to be like right there, especially with like baggage chains. That that those platforms right there could could help out Pik Pikachu. But you know, and getting those back airs. But you know, that's why he went to the, went here, right? Those early back airs off the side. I I town blast on so short, but Kryn forced to burn limit, unfortunately going a little too deep. And that could be a huge opportunity for Tranko, right? Not getting anything out of that resource. This could have been a spike, but Tranko just opting to reset to the platform. Very smart and good patient play from him. And he's not forcing opportunities. He's kind of letting Kryn, right? I have this sword, kind of forcing him, saying, hey, if you don't want to interact with me, I'm just going to sit back and teach ult. So you actually kind of have to, even with yeah. the leader, force in this matchup to be preemptive. Mm. Yeah, th those those teach ults may, may be just qu quite a bit of a pain in the ass for, for Grin. Like, just overall. That was so smart. Ooh, the back Activo almost did it, but, but this is where deck. Pikachu could get an edge guard. Not against Cloud Limit, though. That move is terrifying. And instead, Grin's going to be able to get back, but he has to find a way back down to the ground. And sitting on a platform where Pikachu can juggle you is so incredibly precarious. But if any, Krin's done a great job of just finding, slowing down the pace of this game, charging limit, and trying to find opportunities for an opening here. Oh, but gets that pivot grab right there. Yeah. Up throw, not gonna the up do it because of the high tide oh. blast one, but the up air going to Krin not ready. Some subpar DI there as well. You saw him DI, it looked like up and away. I mean, weren't they like. Like yeah. 160, but like even still on a high blast zone, up air just is not a strong kill move, so. Yeah. But, but they were pr pretty up high, though. But anyways. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Um, hold up. L Limit's almost on deck. Um, hold up. Tr Tr Tranko just poking a whole lot at Kren. And, and Kren just, just got just got them slipping with, with uh, gra oh, grab out of shield. Oh. Yep, and this is where it's so scary, not opting for the harder 50 to 60% lightning loop reset. Instead, just trying to tack on a little bit extra damage, but yep. the cross slash is gonna close it out. Even with the DI to the corner, Tranko not able to live that one. Kryn falling out of that forward air, gonna give him another lease on life for the moment, but without Ooh. limit, he has to find a way back. Had his jump, great routing from Kryn there to find his way back to stage. Nice, nicely done indeed. And I feel like uh, Kryn has, has kind of caught, caught on uh, to how Tranko plays. Perhaps like uh, Kryn uh, ended up getting like a, a bit of a download right there. Like like how you saw with that with that limit cross action that took a, uh, I think uh, took one of Tranko's stocks uh, right there as like Tranko se just seemed to be very very poking heavy, and, and Kryn was just like, all right, if, if you're just gonna keep on doing this, I right, back up limit cross slash, and, and that's what happened uh, with, with the second stock. Yeah, uh, just right there. If I'm a second. Wait, DI out oh. there to avoid what would have been a confirm on DI and off that up air, but the down smash gonna do it. Mm. Just like that, Tranko brings us to a last dot game. Even though he's down here, he's far from out of this one. Oh, well, here's gonna, the back air change. Yep, and again, like look Another at this one. DI from Kryn. That you could be fighting oh. others, but the drag down oh, gonna do it. No, they fumbled the bag. He let it be him getting a little too greedy oh. here on these drag downs. Um, and he just didn't, he could have even buffered an up B after that and he would have been fine, but instead just fast falling his way to the blast zone and oh no. Dang, that is so unfortunate. And that's the Trenko. even it up. That's the difference between 2-0 and 1-1. That's huge. Dang. That was counter pick advantage. That was one game away. And now you have to go in against Kryn. Yeah, you get a counter pick, but now you have to deal with, with right, like, the mental of like, oh god, oh god, I just I just did that, and you can see right Tranko's very deep in thought right now. Thinking about that counter pick, he kind of put his head in his hand there for a second too after the set, just mm. trying like, to recollect himself. And this is a test to show you what players are made of. Yeah, like hey, it, it takes. I, I, I would have to say it pretty much takes a whole lot, a whole lot of mental fortitude. Not 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 just for. Not, not just for this set, but to, but to even like make it like this far into bracket and, and to keep on pushing forward. And I, and after that, like, ooh, that that might have hit a trunk a bit hard. Yep. And I'm and, not going to lie. But that being said, right, he is going to take us right back to town. Right. So they clearly he didn't feel it was the stage holding him back. Nah, we saw it nah, there. De definitely not. It was, it was really just, just trunk just, just uh, messing up that, that one back at pretty much. Yep. And 
That being said, he's doing a really good job f recognizing this di these DIs, finding some fantastic strings here, some very non-traditional Pikachu combos so far, but they're working out with Limit. You have to be scared, but only 10 whoa, seconds. Whoa. Krin gonna be Try forced to pull that one, the trigger, getting stuffed out, and now in a very scary situation, uh, in a corner against one of the best edge guarders in the game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is kind of rough, but hey, like looks like looks like Tr Trunko has been uh, doing like pr uh, pretty high. Uh, this, this match like so far, it's, re it's relatively even. Um, like yeah, bo both these uh, plays play are chilling around like 80% or so. Ooh, was kind of cl close to get, getting uh, that little tech chase uh, with that forward air right there. Gets it there though with the back air. Ooh, and try go for the snipe with the T Joe, but nope, nada. Yep. Damn. Looking. Yep. Yeah, he was looking for the drag down. The great air dodge from Krin to get out of dodge real quick. Like, however, gonna Trengo gonna punish the limit with a dash attack, not gonna kill, and Krin able to reversal that situation into the stock. Uh, find some extra percent now. This is a like, best case scenario, but the up smash gonna keep it close. Trengo has not let Krin get a comfortable lead at all at any point tonight. Yeah, but but I feel like. Um, what Quinn should, should definitely be do, doing more of is just like tr try to throw just more like attitude options because, like, at, um, as I said, like, went on, like, Tranko has been like very, very like poking heavy, and it, it especially showed, like, uh, I believe around the around like the, the first stocks when when Quinn was around like the the right platform and stuff, like, Tranko was like really, really like fiending for a kill and was just like throwing out all these attacks on Quinn's shield and shit. Now, I, I'm not so sure how difficult it may be to punish Pikachu out of shield, but for Cloud, maybe it's not too much of a pain in the ass. Um, you do have up B, you do have up smash. I was going to say, it really depends on the move. Nair can be as safe as, I believe, minus four if you space it right. So it can be incredibly difficult. Fair can be minus five up air. Gonna find a short bridge extension. Just the one dash attack on platform. Not going to do it. Great DI from Krin to try and hit that top blast zone. And now you've got a juggle situation. But again, this is Pikachu, right? Quick attack can be so scary. And one thing we might see if this set keeps going on is Krin's getting away with a lot of landings. Tranko might start using Quick Attack to catch them. Mm. All right, what's the trap? Chief. Oh, okay. Get uh, getting yep. that dash tech off. That was such a smart route. He forced the limit charge, trying to bait Tranko to go off. He went to cover low, and so Krin just saved his jump, went to the platform, and managed to find a stock for that interaction. And he's really putting his all thinking about and, and you can see right in these roots just how creative he has to get to find his way around Tranko's Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. Like, like as, you, as you may have seen uh, with, with that second stock right there, like, yo, they Qu Quirin, uh, even caught uh, Tranko's uh, slip and trying to go a, a little bit high, um, but, but trying to like, go like right towards like around the center stage uh, with that upbeat. But nah, still, Quirin ended up uh, catching them some with a dash tech and there went uh, old Trenko's second stock, just like that. And Krin's chilling with an okay lead right now. Well, but remember, there's no extra credit here for Krin yet. He still hasn't been able to land a hit. Yes, he's holding onto the stock. Yes, he's whittling down the timer. But we still have way too much time on this clock to go to time. Back to we're not going to do it. He was maybe aiming to oh, try and get the mid on platform. But that's where t Joel is broken, Rara. Mm -hmm. Yep. t Joel, it... Seems like just incredibly helpful in this matchup, especially in oh, well, yep. all back air chains, but nope. Crank, crank, get, uh, getting around it this time. Yep, and again, right, that's Tranko when he goes down a stock, just his defensive play has been so solid, but he's also been able to turn it on here. We're seeing him get these dash attack chains. You don't really see Pikas hit those very often or even look for them, but Tranko's awareness to find them has been so incredibly good. Tonight, also, nice, he's got to nice find his way out. Struggling by, uh, by Krin right there. Yep. Backing up that real, real good damage while, while he had the opportunity. Because you, you saw Krin like really, really struggle just to get a hit on, on Trenko while they were just like hanging on around 152 oh, on the no. same side. Oh, man, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, no, that was, I don't even want to call that unfortunate as much as it was great awareness by Trenko to realize that Thunder's going to connect in that situation. If it spikes, great. If it hits you, well, Considering what percent he's at, it might be untackable. If it sends towards stage, if it sends away from stage, well, he's just dead. So really good awareness from Tranko to put Krin in a checkmate there. He got a little bit over greedy on some of those jumps. And that whole situation got started because Krin let himself get a little too close to the ledge, right? He let himself get a little too over aggressive on that edge guard, allowing Tranko to mix up that high quick attack right past ledge. 
punish the landing, get a combo off of it. And I mean, that advantage they turned into the, into the game, so. Yeah. Kryn just has to play a little bit more patient. And that's probably what G Extreme is telling him right now. G, um, last season was number three on the CTPR. Don't know exactly where he's gonna end up this season. But Pikachu player, Steve player. So very, very familiar with what Cloud needs to do to win this matchup, right? He's, pro he's played this against Zion on the inverse with him playing Pikachu and Zion playing Cloud so many times. So he definitely, G as a coach, definitely knows what advice to give Kryn here. And Kryn just trying to implement it, bring it right back to town again. Okay. With his back on against the wall, his tournament on the line, and he was the number one seed for this tournament. Wait, oh, oh, oh Kryn? Kryn. Mm. And, and so seeing him here in losers semis, potentially going out at at what oh, fourth man. place, and that's that. not a good start. That could be a stock. Oh, he has no, saved no, his jump. jump. Really smart stuff from Kryn. And Going playing it incredibly pass, patient, yeah. but how do you get away from Pikachu at the corner? The answer is he just fast falls out of you again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only a couple seconds in and Kryn, like, dang, dang near, found himself in a near-death situation. What? But hey, let, Limit's on deck. Oh, well, let, Limit was supposed to be in on deck. There, there it is now, though. Hold and, up. and the jump is going to allow Kryn to get back to stage, but got a little antsy coming off of it. Got put right back and has to burn the limit just to get out of the corner. It's going to be some good percent, but not a whole lot more. And Tranko is just really starting to figure Kryn out here, it feels like. He's playing so patient, right? He's forcing Kryn. He's letting Kryn pull out these preemptive grabs, these preemptive buttons, and then just hitting him for it over and over. Yeah, I... I, I could I, I could sort of see that because like right now Kren is chilling at 144 and, Tr and Trenko like yo has, has been kind of getting around uh, a oh lot of Kren's no. shenanigans quite a bit. F and fair beat out Blade Beam there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's crazy. I mean, eh, like Blade Beam, like it seems like kind uh, kind of weak though. And Trenko there trying to find up air where it's safe on shield, but just miss spacing and allowing Quinn to get a punish. However, Kryn really has just not been able to find these landing backers. He hasn't really been able to condition Tranko to get antsy out of the shield to really find these starters that Cloud out really, really wants. On, because once he gets you in shield, once he starts to get stage control, Cloud applies so much pressure, and Tranko just hasn't given him a single opportunity for it. Yep. But hold up. Has him off stage for a moment. Limit's almost on deck. Ah, try to catch them. Slipping with, with that blade beam, but Tranko make, making a pretty uh, smart play and going up high to that uh, to the upper platform right there. What up, catching the back air? Oh wait, we going? Yeah, he's going around. Oh he, nope, he's faking <laughs> the around the world. Gonna go all the way back right to the corner, saying, "You think I'm getting cheeky? No, I'm getting extra cheeky." But the F tilt and uh, that does that look like a di to you? Yeah, I mean, F tilt does hit kind of hard, but uh, uh, that hard <laughs> from center stage. Certainly not as hard as that. <laughs> the thunder and the lightning come in and, and clap in that stock, and Kryn now on his potentially last of this tournament. Oh, what an upset man. this would be, wait. and Tranko trying to make it happen right now. Oh, oh is man, that gonna be it? Back air. Wait. He had his jump. Oh, and the recovering to the upper platform. That nice was. use of this stage and that up right there. Yep, but that, oh. that might be it. The upper bridge limits. not gonna Almost do on. it. The drag oh, down wait, fair, he's only gonna hit the last ah, hit. They're still alive, though. Yeah, and Ooh. he was trying to get the drag down fair, but he only hit the last hit, so the knockback, if he got the drag down, that would have been it. But Quinn getting back to stage, he still has work to do. He's got to take not one but two stocks here. Answered oh, by wait. the jab block, looking oh, for the Oh, trying to go for the hard read right there. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Right? Because uh, if you're Quinn, you gotta feel scared and you can't miss those texts. Pikachu could Edge guard you seven days a week, but Cranko not gonna That's opt for it. Gonna instead just opt for the safer drag down, down smash. Take the game, take the stock, take the set. It's Cranko. Moving Very on. Nicely done. Mo moving on we to all, uh, I believe. Losers finals. Losers finals. I, I yeah, guess who he gets to play? Oh Jay man, Grunt. Jay Grunt. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have ourselves a Pokemon battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
and I am gonna maybe try and find somebody else um, after this set to take my place on the mic. I have something I have to get done before the end of bracket, so All right. I'm gonna see, um, but if I can find someone, great. If not, I will be back. Okay. Nope. All right. Here we go. Right here. We're just waiting on old uh, Jay Grunt. Now, I, I don't know um, all, all the little details on uh, what happened around winners' finals, but, dog, I, I, I just know it, it just seemed like uh, pretty dang close. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think uh, old, old, old Maddie and uh, the person that was commentating with him, like, probably going crazy about it. <laughs> so, shit. All right. Anyways, DK Bill fans, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> All right, now. Let's see. What, what, what stage are we out to? Pikachu. 